Two back-to-back -back eclipses are coming, and you should not miss these exciting celestial events. The first will be an annual or solar eclipse on 14 October 2023 that'll sweep across all of North America, Central America, and most of South America. Such an eclipse will be visible from the U.S. after almost 11 years. The second will be a partial lunar eclipse visible from parts of Asia, Russia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica, and Oceania. In this video, you'll find every detail on how to watch the upcoming eclipses and witness the two most striking moments during an annular eclipse, the Ring of Fire and Bailey's Beads. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you remain updated with all the astronomical events. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the Moon covers the center of the Sun, leaving a radiant ring, often referred to as the Ring of Fire. This striking visual results from a unique alignment between the Earth, Moon, and Sun. Unlike a total solar eclipse, where the Moon completely covers the Sun and results in a fleeting moment of daytime darkness, the annular eclipse occurs when the apparent size of the Moon is smaller than that of the Sun. This discrepancy in size is due to the elliptical shape of the Moon's orbit around Earth. When the Moon is near its apogee, or the furthest point from Earth, its apparent size shrinks from our vantage point, and this could lead to an annular eclipse if the alignment is just right. It's a reminder of the intricacies and the vastness of the cosmos. That's because even a slight change in any of the involved celestial bodies' distances or sizes would drastically alter the phenomenon. Observers within the narrow path of the annular eclipse can witness the mesmerizing ring of fire, whereas those outside this path will see a partial solar eclipse. The second feature associated with a solar eclipse is the Bailey's Beads. During an annular or total solar eclipse, just before the Moon completely covers the Sun, or as it begins to move away, the rugged lunar topography plays a captivating role. The mountains, valleys, and craters on the Moon's surface cause the sunlight to shine through in certain areas, creating a dazzling effect known as Bailey's Beads. These appear as beads of light around the edge of the Moon. Named after Francis Bailey, the British astronomer who first described this phenomenon in 1836, these beads of light manifest due to the irregularities on the Moon's edge, allowing sunlight to pass through the gaps. The most prominent of these beads, often termed the diamond ring, occurs when only one bead remains, a bright point of light next to the shimmering corona of the Sun. This spectacle closely resembles a diamond ring and is a breathtaking sight for eclipse observers. Although the solar eclipse of 14 October will be visible from the entire U.S., only eight U.S. states will be able to see the Ring of Fire annular solar eclipse. The Ring of Fire would be seen within a 125-mile, or 200-kilometer, wide path heading from the northwest U.S. through Central America to Brazil. If you're in southern Oregon, northeastern California, northern Nevada, southern Utah, southwest Colorado, northeastern Arizona, New Mexico, or Texas, you'll get the most out of what this eclipse offers. If you want to watch the Ring of Fire, placing yourself at the center line of the eclipse path would be the best. In the U.S., the longest duration for which the Ring of Fire will be visible will be around 4 minutes and 52 seconds on the Texas coast. However, if you want to experience something even more incredible and rare, you'll have to miss an extended view of the Ring of Fire and move away from the path's center line. To witness a lopsided annulus and the Bailey's beads, you must move to the edge of the eclipse path. Bailey's beads can also be viewed at the center line of the eclipse path, but only briefly. It's along the path's edge where you can observe these beads accelerate and decelerate for minutes before and after maximum coverage, known as the grazing zone. While conventional eclipse maps depict straight edges for the eclipse path, the actual shape is uneven due to the Moon's rugged surface. Modern high-definition data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, aids eclipse map makers in identifying the grazing zone on Earth, which spans about 3 kilometers. The path of the annular eclipse will begin in Oregon at 9.13 a.m. PDT and end in Texas at 12.03 p.m. CDT. The eclipse will then pass over Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and Brazil. At the time of the maximum annular eclipse, the Moon will cover 91% of the solar disk. 
Make sure to use proper safety equipment while watching the eclipse, as viewing it with unaided eyes can lead to damage to your eyes. An eclipse never comes alone. It's always followed by another eclipse about two weeks later. A partial lunar eclipse will occur on Saturday, 28 October, 2023. It'll be visible in Asia, Russia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica, and Oceania. The eclipse will begin at 7.36 p.m. GMT and end at 8.53 p.m. In India, the eclipse will start at 1.06 a.m. on 29 October and end at 2.23 a.m. It'll be a short eclipse lasting for about 75 minutes. The maximum eclipse will occur at 1.45 IST when 12% of the moon's disk will lie in shadow. Besides the eclipses, the Orionid meteor shower is another exciting astronomical event in October. The shower is produced by debris left behind by Comet Halley, which orbits the Sun every 76 years. The Orionids are active from 26 September to 22 November, but the peak of the shower typically occurs on October 21 or 22. In 2023, the Orionid meteor shower is expected to peak on the morning of 22 October. During the peak of the shower, observers can expect to see up to 20 meteors per hour under ideal conditions. However, the actual number of meteors you see will depend on several factors, including the darkness of the sky, the amount of light pollution, and the elevation of your viewing location. The Orionids are best viewed from the northern hemisphere, but can also be seen from the southern hemisphere. The shower's radiant point is located in the constellation Orion so the best time to view the shower is after midnight when Orion is high in the sky. To view the Orionid meteor shower, simply find a dark location away from city lights and lie down on your back. Allow your eyes to adjust to the darkness for about 30 minutes. Once your eyes are adjusted, you should be able to see meteors streaking across the sky. So happy sky gazing, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for regular astronomical updates on time.